Hey guys, you have their gene here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, we got arrested for Mia's murder, and in this episode, we're gonna put that douchebag red white behind bars. So let's get started. September 9th, 9.52 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Well, I guess it, this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, F Phoenix, look! <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth. I received a call from the public prosecutor's office yesterday. Huh? He told me that whatever what Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony. If I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What, does White have the judge in his pocket too? So, you're saying I'm going to be guilty. End of story. I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth. You've changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix Wright. F Phoenix? Well, court will be opening for session soon. What? But wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. He's not... I'll be defending myself. What? Okay, let's do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, since White probably, uh, fucked up the attorneys, uh, I guess we're the only one left. September 9th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number one. The court, is n the court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are qu already quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of another witness of to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like... It's like he already knows why. Hmm. If anyone's going to raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. You know what? I'm going to objection it. Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Fay? Humph. <laughs> I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides, at the time, I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. Great. He gets to show off and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Oh, fuck. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? Ew. Put your fucking pimp rings down. Uh, your name? Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? Name! These two are great together. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim, Miss Mia Fey? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there? Ahem. <laughs> Why tell you what you already know? Very well. Mr. White, you may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world against, and I'm the last man standing? Ho ho ho. Oh, stop doing that! I hope you've made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> Let him have it, Phoenix. You bet I will. Fucking douchebag. Witnesses account. 
Let's see, it was about 9 o'clock, I believe. I was quietly perusifying, or that's reading to you, some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from, outs a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking the woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. Damn. Uh, I don't see any holes in that testimony. Uh, we might be fucked. If things occurred as you testify, I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well. Defendant? Uh, I mean, Mr. Wright? Your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Well, this is time where pressing comes in handy. Um, I think I know what I want to press. Let's press... This. Where she ran away. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprende, I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? Ah! As you know, I am always abso positively perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. I got you now, you slippery bastard! Present. Now. Oh, whoops, that's a mouse. Now, you remember what Miss May said yesterday? She said the victim ran right. So, that would be a good point to object. Wait right there. Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. Uh, oh, ho, ho. It is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here, and the victim here. If the victim ran to the left, as you claim she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? <gasps> Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think that he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run left. So he did witness the killing? Wait a second. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Miss May says right, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? It's very simple. Both of them are right. Both witnesses are telling the truth for once. Ha! Huh, I doubt it. Er, uh, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain their conf conflicting accounts. What? <laughs> Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime scene from the hotel. Dun dun dun! Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean he was not viewing the crime from the hotel? If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law office of Fay and Co., of course. More specifically, he was standing here. Show the court where Mr. White was standing. Well, it isn't. if it isn't obvious... Um, hold on, let me just try something. Um, no. No, okay. Um, uh... Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, if it isn't obvious, he was clearly standing right here. This is where he was. Look. When the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from this point, to him it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the vi killer was standing. Order. I will have order. Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? R Rep. Scallion. Prop the postulations of the defense are distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Ho, ho, ho. You provided, you provided with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He is laughing? 
the hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this, I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Very well, let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. Motherfucker. She ran to the left. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her, savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? Oh, 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 you fucked up this time. Will you be cross- Oh, whoops, I missed that. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. She ran to the left. Okay, if it is not obvious... This is where he effed up. According to the autopsy report, she was hit by a blow from a blunt by one blow from a blunt object. Here we go. Mr. White, the victim died from a single blow. Huh? What do you have to say to that? Uh, uh, now's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this card you were absolutely perfect? Mm -hmm. I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a ten minute break. Yes, yes, quiet. The witness is confused because he's lying. I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice. Don't let him get away. Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this now, White. Mr. White? Uh, okay. I got him now. Um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then, the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her. But she dodged. Um, and then, she turned and ran for the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. Thwap. You're grasping now, man. Hmm, thwap indeed. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, it is hurting. Deal with it. This is almost over. <laughs> <laughs> Two accounts. Alright. Thing. You heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, oh, that. Um, the glass light stand. Right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix, doesn't it something about that strike you as odd? Yeah, very odd. Yeah, that is odd. I'll press further. Mr. White. Huh? W what? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Y yes Then change your testimony to reflect that. S sorry my bad. The witness will revise his testimony. O okay, of course. A light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. <laughs> oh, I got him now. Let me show you guys something real quickly. Let's look at the uh, floor plans. As you can see, that light stand is nowhere in the view of the window. So, uh, yeah, that. Freaking phone. Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the glass light stand. What? Look at this. These are the floor plans to the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now, look. If you were to look through the window of the o at the office, this is the area you would have been able to see. Here. Well, note that, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White? What do you have to say to that? Ridic- Ridic- You lost it, 
Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel, as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell, either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? I'm, it must have been the moment it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the fake law offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. <laughs> gotcha now. Oh yeah, cry like a bitch. <laughs> Mr. White? <laughs> Mr. White. <laughs> you did it, didn't you? <laughs> Mr. Your Honor. I, I, Miss Mia. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get our verdict. Damn it. That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. What? Uh, I forgot about Edgeworth. Mr. White. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now? Hmm? W what? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo. Confess that you placed the wiretap. The wires tap. Order, order. Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered the secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law office of me of Miss Fay. What does this what does that have to do? Your Honor. The question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Fay's office. Am I correct? C correct You are most correct, Miles. Give me a break. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Fay and Co. law offices. That is when I saw that cursed light stand. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass light stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. At the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been to that office well before the murder took place. He went to the place the wiretap. He could have seen the glass light stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright theory is revealed for the basics conjecture that it is. No! Damn it. This can't be game over. Mr. White. You will testify to the court about this wiretap. Ahem, leave it to me. No, I... I feel faint. Again. The wiretapping. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fate and Co. law offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Hmm. So, you saw the stand before the night of the incident, and this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over, by the sound? Correct! That is right! I see. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine. Gah! <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix! Ugh. This isn't gonna go well. Um... D do you have proof? Miss April May knew the details of Miss Fay's conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Huh. Right. Um. Was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Miss May? Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Fay and Co. law offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. And if I know Edgeworth, he's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White. Tell us why you went to the Fanko law offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. Why did you tap me his phone? This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. 
Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. That is when I... Uh, why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I made it... So I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a butatious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it! There's nothing there for me to press him on. Oh well. Maybe he's rattled enough that I bluff something out of him. Um. Uh-oh. Don't tell me I've run out of ammo. Tisk tisk. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. Time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright, are you giving up? Yes, Your Honor. Phoenix! Huh? Phoenix, over here. I know that voice. M Mia? Never give up, Phoenix. <laughs> m m Mia? Where? Where am I? The waiting lobby? Was that a dream? What happened? Uh, oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Uh. Ah, you're finally awake. Ah! <laughs> hey, Phoenix! Gag? That's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Y your M Maya? Didn't you, the Fey Woman, have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that it was enough to of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So, Maya is channeling you, Mia. That's right. I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. <laughs> B but we don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen, you've already won. Huh? You have the re that receipt in the court record, right? Um, oh, yeah. That one you wrote Maya on. Phoenix, White wrote that, not me. So, so what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. Thousand dollars. Wow, big spender. Item. Glass light stand. Date of purchase. September 4th. <laughs> September 4th. That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Whoa. Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said that he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right. September 9th, 11.16 p.m. District Court, courtroom number one, 1.16 a.m. No, oh, no, that's pretty early. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. As a defendant, rather, are you alright, Mr. Wright? Yes, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then, let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there is nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. Wright is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Hmm. Your Honor, please, give me one more chance. I promise you that this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But, as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? Yeah. I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. The fire tapping. Alright, we got him now. That's impossible, as we all know. Because you couldn't have seen it. Look closely at this. 
See the word Maya written in blood? Whoa, you're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the seat. The, the other side? Your Honor, would you tell the court what, the, what is written on the other side of that receipt? Hmm. Well, a glass light stand and the date of purchase. Why, that's the day the b before the murder. Uh, uh, you see? Mr. White, when you allegedly entered Fay & Co. offices at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. Cool. <laughs> well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's impossible. Uh-oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be a, quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree that you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Uh. Very well. Then, that is all for this for the trial of... Objection. Damn it. Edgeworth, what now? Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Eh, <laughs> what? No way he can worm out of this, his way out of this one. Oh wait, I forgot. He, it's Edgeworth. There is cer a certain threat of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Eh, <laughs> ergo... I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm. Another inquiry? This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. I'm objecting to this. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There is no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth? If anyone was going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a date to ascertain whether your claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm. I see. Objection denied. What? The completion of this tr of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. No! There's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. Edgeworth is sure to come up with or just make up something. And after Mia showed up and helped me and all. Damn it. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course. Thank you for your time. G the witness will stay. M Mia? Phoenix, read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? Memo received from Mia. Your Honor, if I may. You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life is riding on this one. I have something I'd like to read to the court. Well, let's read Mia's memo. List of people's names in Mia's handwriting. Let's see. The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance. Famous celebrities. That's when it happened. S -s stop! Desist! Halt! <laughs> Please, stop! Make him stop! How, how did you get that list? Mr. White. Admit your guilt, right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. <laughs> I, I confess. I confess. I, I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. <laughs> Case closed, your honor. <laughs> Those faces. <laughs> Well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. Hmm, well, this court finds the defense. Ahem, rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Haha, <laughs> we beat Edgeworth. That is all. The court is adjourned, and we're safe. And that douchebag is behind bars. <whistles> ah, well, ah, that's a good case closed. Ah, the only real loss we had this case was Mia. Unfortunately. December 9th, 2.24 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again, but congratulations. 
You're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me. And Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live. My time here is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. W what? No! There's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Ch chief Hehe, <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix, can you come to the office tonight? Say, 9 o'clock? The office? I'll see you later. Chief! Mia! September 9th, 9.02 p.m. Bay Co. Law Offices. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came! Mia? I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? M mia Blah! <laughs> you should see the look on your face. Mia! What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. M maya What? Did I look like my sister? You look like you were her! Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me some lunch, would you? Um, Maya, why are you here? Because of this. See? Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of... Huh? She means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new Wright & Co. law offices, right? And who better but me? Maya Faye, support reporting for duty. Wait, no. On second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick. Maya here, ready to get down to business. You don't mind calling y you Nick. Don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick? You know what this means? We're partners. You know, when I think about it, this is Maya's fault I'm here now. But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right in color offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here. Watching. Right. Right. Okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy. Burgers. There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on, time's a wasting. Uh, okay, wait up. The end. Well, uh, that was a satisfying end. Found M Mia's true killer. And we ended the case on a very good note. And best of all, we beat the douche Edgeworth, too. Well, anyway, next time we'll be covering the next case, which is Episode 3, Turnabout Samurai. Alright, this has been Decov13, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.